Hello everyone, Eid Mubarak to all my viewers who are celebrating this beautiful festival. I thought what best recipe to be cooked on the occasion of Eid, it has to be chicken biryani. So we are making chicken dum biryani in my kitchen today and I'm just showing you a very easy way of making this amazing recipe. So back to my kitchen and I'll see you there. So I've just taken a handy to make chicken biryani. I've got one kilo chicken uh, drumsticks. I mean, there's your choice of chicken you want to take. I'm just going to put this all in the pan. Next goes, this is one large onion or you can take two small and just roughly slice. It goes inside with it. Uh, this is about two tablespoons of fried uh, onions. They are easily available on all the supermarkets. So I'm just going to put one tablespoon here and the rest we will use for garnishing on the top. Some mint leaves, some coriander leaves. About one cup of natural yogurt. about a huge one large tablespoon of ginger garlic paste about one teaspoon of salt we're going to put the salt in the rice as well about one teaspoon of the kashmiri red chili powder half a teaspoon of the hot red chili powder this is entirely optional about one teaspoon of the turmeric powder, one teaspoon of the coriander powder, or just a pinch of garam masala. And I think the key ingredient has to be a biryani masala. I have got a Bombay biryani masala, but you can use whatever you like. So I'm just going to put about two teaspoons of this into this. And the next step is we're just going to mix everything together this is a really easy uh, dum biryani recipe you'll be surprised how easily you can make this in your kitchen and it just tastes really nice and last ingredient would be two tablespoons of oil you can use ghee instead if you like and just give it a nice mix and we're going to turn this gas off so while our chicken is being cooked in this honey i'm just going to cook this rice so this rice is going to be cooked just 80 percent because we're going to cook the rest on a dumb with the chicken so this is about two cups of basmati rice uh, and which has been soaked for at least 15 20 minutes and i've just put in the pan with some water in goes some uh, whole spices which basically includes one cinnamon steak few cloves uh, one star anise this is black cumin or shahi jeera if you don't have black cumin you can just use normal cumin seeds one large black cardamoms and few peppercorns ideally i should be adding a bay leaf as well but unfortunately i do not have that at home so i'm just gonna skip that since everything goes inside in this and also goes in about one teaspoon of salt and we just let it cook to about 80 percent and then we are going to put this here and give it or cook it on them so i was just roasting it on a high flame for the last two to three minutes and i'm just going to let it cook on a slow flame and cover it with the lid and let it simmer for it should be done in next 15 minutes or so but we'll just show you in between videos as well how this is coming up it's been five minutes since our chicken has been cooking and you can see it's just coming up really nicely you can see the curry is getting formed by itself so that's good so we're just gonna put the lid back and let it cook for another hopefully five to seven minutes and and the end point would be when we think the kit the 
chicken is fully cooked and you can see the meat coming off the bone and this is our basmati rice which has been cooking on in the pan so cook, for cooking basmati rice i think the most important thing is you let it boil once and once they're boiled you just let it simmer on a slow flame and cover it with partly with a lid that way i think you could get a long grain and also not to stir a lot because then it breaks the rice and it just doesn't give us good uh, results so is it it's boiling now so i'm just going to reduce the temperature and let it cook with the lid on for, okay so it's been nearly uh, about 13 14 minutes and our chicken is almost cooked you can see that the oil is just coming up on the surface and and uh, you can see the flesh is really coming off the bone now so at this stage i'm just going to turn off the flame and this is a biryani handi so i think what's important is that it's got a wide mouth and it's not very deep it's shallow if you don't have a handi like this you can use any pan which has a heavy lid and a thick bottom because it needs to be cooked on a very slow flame for a very long time so we've got this uh, chicken curry ready you can eat it as chicken curry itself or what we're going to do is to make into a dum biryani so i'm just going to leave the things that as it is you can see that i don't have much gravy with the chicken it's just enough for this biryani to cook if we leave it too dry then the chicken will burn so you should have just enough so that all the chicken pieces are nicely covered next thing goes our rice so we're just going to put a layer of uh, this is our basmati rice which has been 80 percent cooked and we're just going to put a layer of rice on top of this chicken some people also do a sandwich uh, method where they put rice at the bottom and rice on the top and chicken in between but i just like to do it this way so i just leave the chicken at the bottom and i just spread the rice on the top nicely with just lightly we're not going to press it down too hard and i've got some more rice here which i'm also going to layer on top and make sure that you have drained all the water from the rice when you've done this so this is really very lightly i'm just spreading it nicely on the top of this vessel and on top of this uh, we are going to put our brown fried onions this is kind of a bit of trademark for biryani dishes so this is easily available from the indian supermarkets or you can just deep fry onions at home and make them brown in color by yourself next go some coriander leaves and i've got some slit green chilies this is entirely optional and some mint leaves on the top this is about half a cup of milk and i've just put a yellow uh, cooking color if you don't want to put the color you can use saffron and it just basically gives a nice color to the rice so we're just going to pour this here we're going to close this lid back and i'm going to cook this on a very high flame uh, till we see the steam coming up and so you can see that the steam is building up inside this lid this is why we need a very heavy lid so at this stage i'm just going to reduce the flame to lowest minimum and we're just going to let this cook it on a very slow flame for next 30 to 40 minutes till we feel that the aroma is building up and we'll, we'll show you the end point uh, hi yeah so it's been 30 minutes since this biryani has been cooking and you can see oh it's just smells heavily and you can see all the rice grains are fully cooked and it's, it's going to stop cooking at this time so i'm just gonna turn off the flame this is kevra water this is available on on the indian uh, store so i'm just going to take just one or two drops of it and just sprinkle on top of the biryani and just let it rest for some time and when i'm i'm ready to dish it i'll i'll show you how it looks so we're just going to open this pan and see how our biryani has come up 
and hope you will like this recipe so very gently and slowly just try to go just to the bottom and try to take out the chicken and the rice together if possible so wow that looks really nice so i'm sure you would have seen one of my shots where i have given you suggestions of how to serve this biryani it goes very well with raita poppadoms so do try this at home and let me know how did you like this recipe uh this biryani tastes really nice and i really enjoyed making this biryani for my family and hope you'll try this at home and hope you have a wonderful time with your family and friends see you next time bye bye